Hey everyone, welcome to another workout here at Stevie Richards Fitness. We're going to keep it a little bit quiet because it's around 4.20 a.m. So we're going to do a simple and sinister kettlebell workout. So simple and sinister with a low volume. <laughs> well, that's a little bit of a pun, not low volume, just not making as much noise because my wife and the cats are still sleeping. But it's early morning, we're going to get this in. And the reason why I've been doing a simple and sinister workout is because... My back is kind of bothering me again. I always seem to reset by doing this workout along with bands, body weight, different foundational workouts. Uh, there's the axle workout back here. We're going to have a review of that coming up soon. That's been a big help too in uh, really building up strength and rehabbing my back. But this simple and sinister workout is exactly that. It's simple, but it's not easy. So we're going to get right into it. And what we're going to do is uh, some warm-up stuff. And uh, some people don't warm up. I do. I basically go into a goblet squat or, or a kettlebell squat with a front position with the kettlebell. Stay there, do some curls. Uh, sometimes I do some bridges. And then I go into halos for the shoulder. They might have a different name, but basically go around and open up my shoulders and get some mobility in there. So I'm going to back up and make sure we're in the camera range. Come down here, and just by doing even this kind of stuff every day, I'm squatting pretty deep, and no warm up, no cardio. Pretty much all I did was um, those back stretches that I do, the back exercises for lower back pain, which is on the playlist here uh, for workouts and fitness stuff. So I'll put that link in the description below so you can check out that video. That's part of the Athlean X uh, video that I did. For that and it really does help and it includes a kettlebell and I put it in a dip belt and I just kind of walk around stretches out that's one of the exercises okay right there now what I'm going to do is no back bridge just come right here and open up the shores I'm already sweating by the way just after that one thing of squats I just kind of feel it out and I think five reps on each side is usually good, but I'll go by feel. I want my shoulders to be tight. I want my lower back, my shoulders, and pretty much my whole body to feel warm. Go back into it here. Squat straight down. Kind of in a catcher position. And then just come right here. And just curl a little bit. I'm not curling trying to get my biceps to work. I'm just getting them warmed up. That's another thing, too, is uh, it's pretty much all I've been doing for about a week and a half at, at this point. And I really feel much better. And since it's a lot lower, by, low, more lower, but I can't talk this early. Since it's mostly a lot more lower body work, it just feels like my whole body is getting really strong. And then I'm not using heavy weights either from this stuff, as you'll see, not, not really heavy, unless you're doing the second exercise. Then even this weight, which is 22 pounds, I'm using this for Turkish get-ups, and it's still super, super tough. There we go. And I think we're warmed up. You can do that, like, two three times, four times, however many times you feel like you need to warm up with that. But I feel like I'm getting a, a pretty good sweat on here. Make sure my audio is working. Move that there. Now, what I have here, 53 pounds for swings, which is not too bad. You can start out pretty light, and then you progress, like, I think according to Simple and Sinister, like once every three or four weeks, something like that. I'm at 53 pounds because I'm going to do 10 sets of 10 kettlebell swings and I'm not going to uh, rest very long. So this won't take super long for me. Here we go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now like that, just make sure I can place it back. What this essentially is too, 
to me with the kettlebell swings, the, especially the Turkish get-ups, and I'm going to go into squats. I treat it as skills training instead of trying to break, break my body down. I'm going to concentrate on the form. My heart rate's already in zone two. And I'm going to go pretty quick. You can go every minute on the minute. Take your time with this if you want. I'll try to challenge yourself like I am. Set two. And I go kind of down. Alan, like I said, my form's not always the best, but I try my best. Let me get my water real quick. Go off camera here. Some sets out of the 10 might be better than others, but I'm already in zone two just after two sets. Let's go three. Set three of 10. And let's move this over. Here we go. There we go, set three. Whew, man. I got this new wireless microphone system that I have a review up here on the YouTube channel. And it's working pretty well. It's a, it's a metal construction, but once I place it in the right spot, I'm pretty good. It's not weighing me down, which I'm happy about. All right, let's go set four. I think I already lost count. I'll call it set four. Set four. There we go. Whew. Running against the clock a little bit here, too, because sometimes that DSLR shuts off after like 20, 25 minutes. I'm hoping that's not the case and we'll get a full workout out of this. A lot of technical uh, things working against me. Make sure the mics are lined up. It's a, it's a juggling act, but it's, it's cool. Set five. That's why I lose track of reps and sets. Here we go. I got breath too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I didn't like the way I put that down. Here we go. I'll take a quick drink halfway there on the swings. Set six coming up. Whew. Here we go. Going pretty quick through these. Take your time if you have to, or if you need to. Ooh, crack. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set six. That first breath, I'm not getting because I'm too busy running my mouth. I gotta take that deep breath when I hike it through and then whew, get that. And that's how I count the numbers, helps me exhale. But not doing so great on the first rep to get a good inhale. All right, set seven coming up. Let's go. I do the karate chops to get my butt back. That engages me on the lower body. Here we go. Set seven. There we go. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's set seven. Set eight coming up. Now you can do one hand at a time. Five sets of each hand, one handed kettlebell swings. Sometimes I try those, and it's good for unilateral, for, you know, symmetry on each side. I just want to get the form down. Heart rate is up there. 
I just prefer trying it with two hands and just sticking with that. So if you want to go back to the basics, and that's what this workout's part of. Set eight. One. Set eight, put it down, two more sets, set nine and 10. You can also mix this up with greasing the groove, which I've done a video on that in the past where you pick a certain number, like say, mine was 10 push-ups, two pull-ups, two dips, or 10 push-ups, five pull-ups, two dips, every hour on the hour for like 10, 12 hours a day. If I have access to do the exercises, be surprised also how much volume you get after a week and a month. Just count that up. It's a lot of volume. Set nine. One more set. I feel good. Now what we're going to do next is Turkish get-ups, but I don't want to think too far ahead because I got one set of kettlebell swings to go. I want to stay focused on that and not think about the next exercise. But I have to kind of think about camera angles and where we're going. Hopefully the action cam doesn't die. This gets the right angle, the phone, and of course the audio. Hopefully all that's working. Here we go. Set 10 of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and I'm gonna come down and just walk it over. I can't make that much noise. It's quiet. All right. So on this one, what we're gonna do is we are going to. Put on these knee sleeves off camera maybe you might be able to see this put these knee sleeves on and it'll help me with the turkish get-ups because this mad scrapes my knees up pretty good and also for the squats seems to offer me a good deal of support on my knees so it feels good all right let me Check the camera live here. Make sure we're still going. I'm gonna go down a little bit here so you can kind of see. Actually, I'm hoping to be able to get, there we go. Do it live. Now I'm not the best at Turkish get-ups, so this is a skill that I still need to learn. That's the beauty of doing these as skills training. Got to get the skill down of putting the mic in the right place. Hopefully you will still work up there throughout this workout. All right, right knee up, left leg down, opposite arm from the kettlebell around 45 degrees. I'm not perfect at these. I do my best though. <laughs> And they feel good. Swing it around, windshield wiper. It's the only way I can do a lunge. <laughs> Down, windshield wiper. Boom, hips up. Boom. Take your time with this. I'm gonna go a little quicker. And also I'm gonna flip my Apple Watch around because the kettlebell can mess the screen up. That's one on the right. Here it comes one on the left. Take your time. I might have rushed that a little bit. I'm right handed, so I need to be careful with the left. That's one on the left coming down. Windshield wiper. So you can take your time and be in each thing for one Mississippi, three Mississippi. Back it up. There we go. Now the mic. It's giving me some trouble and kind of going in that fetal position. 
coming over here from that side. So not technically good form. Step two. Not perfect, but I'm trying. Hips up, bring it around, windshield wiper. My shoulder is opening up a little bit. Down. My knees always seem to hurt. I need to do more stuff to relieve knee pain. That's one on the right, or two on the right. And can't go all the way over because of the mic pack. Come back down because that was not good. There we go. A little better. You can even stop right here if you want to do half ones. I like to come up because, like I said, this is the only way I can lunge. Don't ask me why. I hate lunges. Maybe that's why. But I like these because there's a lot involved. Like I said, I'm trying to. To do this without rolling over, you need to roll over. Get that mic back there. I'm really rushing this, by the way. Just take your time. My heart rate's up there. And don't do what I just did, trying to adjust your watch with a kettlebell in front of your face. You need to slow it down. Here we go. I start to rush. <laughs> There we go. Step up a little bit. Come back. Down. I want to really get the hips up. I like holding that position because it's tough. Reverse sit up. Let's do it again. Set three. And the only reason I'm not going all the way over, like I said, is the transmitter. Here we go. Crack, crack, crack. All right, that was not smooth. Take your time. Ugh, tell myself that. Whew. You might think these, with a 22 kettle, 22 pound kettlebell, not a big deal. But this Turkish get up, there's a reason why a lot of people don't like to do them. I didn't like it, but I embraced it because it is tough. Now it's like, I love doing these things. Four. Back down. Hand down. Sweep, hips up. And there you down. Four on the other side. I said I would roll over. I know I keep repeating it, but just letting you know I would roll all the way over that side to get the kettlebell. Here we go. My breath might be off. Here we go. Back down. Not perfect, but we keep working on it. Good. One more on each side. All right, I gotta not be sloppy. Come on. Damn it. I gotta work around this bike pack. I hate that. Because that was not good form. I could have hurt my wrist and shoulder there. I need to be more and more careful. Five and five, and we are done with this. So let's make these the best ones. That was not the best one. Sorry, that cowbell. Here we go. And that's better. Sort of. <laughs> Getting weak because I, I am rushing through it a little bit for the sake of the video. But it's a good test of my focus to make sure the fifth one is as good as the first, which I may have failed, but that's okay. Because I will do this tomorrow. And however many other times during the phase that I do it. All right, let's get this. This is my left, my weak side. Let's make it good. All 
All right, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Down, oh, that's the one on my knee. I have a tendency not to look up at the kettlebell, which is really, really important. Let's see, something shut off. I wonder if that was the action cam. I think it was the action cam. <laughs> so, yep. I bet it was the action cam. Always right at 20 minutes or so. All right. So what we're going to do now is either a goblet squat or a front squat. Your choice. Let's make sure this main camera is working. There we go. Back it up a little bit more. Five sets of five on this. So that's why the knee sleeves work out well too for knee support. And here we go. Right up here. A little wide stance. Squat. And what I do is I inhale, which I didn't do there. Hold my core. Three. of a deadlift we will not take too much of a rest on this you can go every minute on the minute like i said 30 second rest i'm going to challenge myself a little bit once again for the sake of the video to not make this usually like about a half hour or so workout but it's like kind of like playful skills training i would say one Two, three, four, five. And the kettlebell is not super heavy. You can make it heavy, but you have to remember that, you know, with Simple and Sinister, you can do this three days a week. Some people do it every single day to build up their volume, their skills, their strength. Cardio, it's 122 right now. So... This is a fairly light kettlebell for the five sets of five, but I'm going to do it tomorrow too. Set three. Two. Three. Four. Five. I like that pause at the bottom, especially my knees with the knee sleeves feel very, very supported. I can imagine how my knees would feel after scraping them with the Turkish get-ups or putting my knee into the mat, going backwards on those get-ups. It would not feel good. <laughs> so these are definitely something that's a good investment. Set four. Here we go. Five reps. Three, four, five. One more set. Now my back felt awful this morning. It usually does when I wake up, but doing the stretches and the warm-ups on the back and doing this actually makes my back feel better. It's a, it's amazing. This the bands, body weight. Talk about the axle workout, getting more foundational stuff. Not worried about, are my arms big enough? Do I look big enough? Am I going to look uh, like I'm in, in shape? Let me feel like I'm in shape. Let me feel like I'm feeling good and have strength and, yeah, you know, just health and wellness. Don't worry about the aesthetics afterwards. Those can be a side effect of all the other things. Last set, and let's count it back. Five. Three, two, one. And that's it. Walk this over. Bring the camera back up a little bit. Get my face on screen. Yeah. 
So that's it, guys. Including the warm-up, I rushed it, like I said. You know, under 25 minutes or so. I'm around 26.05 because I included the warm-up when I started the workout. And I'm still at 120 right now. I am sweating. It's no joke. Simple and sinister. It's early. I finished my workout. Simple and sinister workout. Should be simpler to say than that. Check it out. Look it up. Plenty of free PDFs out there. You can download all that stuff. Just figured I would give this free full workout to you here on YouTube. So you can follow along. Like I said, I rushed it. I made mistakes. You might too. Take your time. Have that voice in your head. Tells you to take a breath. Take your time. Skills training. Kind of playful skills training to try to get down the form, the exercise, the weight, all that stuff. It's second. So... Well, the exercise isn't, but don't worry about the weight. Worry about your form. Even if you got to use, when I was injured, for get-ups, I was using this 10-pound kettlebell. So don't have an ego. You know, unless you're recording a YouTube video, nobody's watching. So don't have an ego. Do what you need to do to feel better. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, Stevie Richards Fitness at gmail.com. Go to stevierichardsfitness.com. Check out all the programs and videos we have up there. And that is about it for now. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Have a great day.